President Donald Trump says the U.S. will purchase $3 billion worth of dairy, meat and produce from farmers. That says food banks run low on supplies due to the coronavirus pandemic. In a tweet, Trump says the purchases will begin next week and include goods from farmers, ranchers and specialty crop growers. He says it will be part of a program to give aid to food banks. The Trump administration's response to the pandemic has severely disrupted supply chains. Farmers have had to destroy tons of produce as processing facilities are shuttered. Peter Matthews is a professor of political science at the Cypress College in the U.S., and he joins us now from Los Angeles. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Now, just give us an Thank idea you. of how this aid is going to help farmers. Well, this is in addition to $16 billion that was given directly, a direct payment to farmers and ranchers. This $3 billion is to purchase their produce and their meat so that because the, uh, the processing companies are not purchasing them. And there's a breakdown in the supply chain because of the pandemic, because the restaurants are not, being op are not open as they used to be, except for takeout food. And so many people are not going. They're losing money, the restaurants, and they're not demanding the food from the farmers. And this is a big uh, problem. So the president decided, I think wisely so, to purchase this food directly by the U.S. government and then distribute it to get, keep the supply, ch supply chain going so it can be distributed to everyone, uh, more so, to get it out in the market. And I hope $3 billion is enough and it's done the right way, so it does work, actually. How exactly uh, would it be done in the right way, do you think? Well, he's targeting mostly food banks at this point, food banks and uh, soup kitchens for poor people, mostly low-income people who are or don't have income coming in, because many people who are on you know hiatus, they've been hold, held uh, on their unemployment, are not getting their checks yet from the government. Some of them got checks, others didn't. And there's no ongoing income from the government. I think the U.S. should have done this much differently. It's more like Germany, Denmark, France. Those countries paid the workers in their countries directly by the US, by their government, paid them their paychecks. And they also paid small business directly the, according to how much profit they were making. So they kept the, in, the business system intact in those countries. So when this is over, the business can start up right away and they have their employees ready to go. And there's income in those employees' hands all of this time to keep the demand up and to pay the rent and pay the house payments. The United States didn't do it that way. They put the money into the SBA, Small Business Administration, uh, which is overwhelmed, and the money didn't get out properly and quickly enough. Now the food has to get out. So to do it properly, it's going to be very tough because there's so much disruption. And I'm not really sure how it can be done fully. We have to try it, though. I think it's important to keep the networks going as much as possible. And the first step is to get the government to buy this food from the farmers so farmers don't suffer and down the food chain doesn't suffer either. Mm -hmm. Well, there's been uh, a lot of talk about uh, politicizing various situations in regards to this pandemic. Given that the agriculture community are predominantly from the southern states, is this some sort of reassurance from Trump to a pretty important part of his support base? Absolutely, because the uh, agriculture sector is the southern states and the Midwest, and they're both the, the framework, the foundation of the Republican Party's uh, solid support for Trump especially, and they've been Trump supporters. Some were disillusioned with the trade war with China, which hurt them. That was another thing that President Trump uh, took the blame for. I think rightly so. He should not have started that trade war with China, which ended up in tariffs and escalation of prices of things. And farmers' products were not being bought by China because of that in retaliation. So the government had to provide, I think, $28 billion there to, to bail out the farmers last year for that. So the farmers have been whipsawed, seesawed with the, their feelings for Trump. They're normally fairly conservative. They're Republican. They've been supporting President Trump. But some of them have been pulling away because of all these kinds of ups and down policies. So. I think there's an attempt to actually maybe some curry some favor with them once again. All right, Peter Matthews, thank you so much for giving us that insight. My pleasure. Thank you so much. More than 4 million people around the world have been infected with the coronavirus since the first case was confirmed in December. That's led to more than 279,000 deaths, but over 1.3 million people have recovered from COVID-19.